Hey guys, I hope you guys been well. Um, this update is just a short video. I haven't scripted it or written everything down. I just, I've just completely come into the office, turned the camera and the mic on and just started recording. Um, so I just want to talk about this new update, which is currently rolling out as we speak. And the two main things that are added in the update is new Japanese items, buildings and props and also sea coral and plants. Um, so I just wanna firstly talk about the Japanese items. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about is the Japanese buildings. So they've got, a, they've got a new category. So they're all in their own little category in the building section. Um, and if you've got the update already, you will see that the first couple of items in the building section are small standalone buildings, things like um, gazebos, stalls, um, things like that. So they're just the basic simple items. And then we got towards the end, these blocks, these are more advanced buildings and these are actually modular buildings. So you could um, stack different blocks on top of each other and create unique combinations is similar to the modular buildings in the modern section so you can stack these buildings in different ways different sizes different orders and you can add your own different type of roof on there and you can just create loads of different unique types of buildings um, and then after that we just got a couple of props scattered around everywhere in the different categories um, we've also got i want to talk also about so in the plants in the plant section we've got some new japanese plants so if you go to the end right to the end we got japanese plants and with these we've kind of um, did it a little bit different where um, instead of having every color combination in the main build menu you can select a plant and then from inside you can see it from there from here you will get the different color combinations um, and this is the same thing we've done with the coral so if you go to the coral it seems like there's not much coral but there is about five six different color combinations for each of these items so if you tap on one of these you get all the different color combinations um, <clears throat> and there's just a few small items scattered around another thing i forgot to mention is we've added these miscellaneous trucks and these are just little um camper vans ice cream trucks and these you can't drive them around but what you can do is you can place them and you can actually go inside the trucks in the back um, so that's the main things that we've added uh, there is a few new fences if you go to the end we've added some new Japanese fences they're sort of like the the dividers and there's like bamboo fences and things like that I also want to talk about a few changes that we've done um, we just changed some things with the campfires so uh, you I don't know if you remember this but previously if you place a campfire down and you set it to night mode you kind of get that volumetric light it's like a kind of a glow outside it uh, we had a few issues with that um, so we've decided to completely get rid of that in all the campfire or fire related light items so for example let me just show you on here let's say I put a campfire down here let's put a campfire and let's turn this on and let's set it to night mode and if you can see here 
it doesn't have you're still getting the light coming off the campfire but it doesn't have that that weird um glow around it um we still have them on these lights so you can see that you can see that glow around it uh we still have these on these lights but um, this might get changed in a future update because these are quite performance intensive so it takes up a lot of performance and there's been a lot of issues where it's not working properly if you go to like a bird's eye view and you get it looks kind of weird so we're kind of looking at phasing that out um, but you'll be able to see that when you have the new update and yeah let me know what you think of that if you like the look of that we might apply this change to all the lights not just the fire related lights um, another thing that we've done we added a new a new setting had a lot of requests to change the sensitivity for first person mode so you can in the quick settings you can change the settings for the sensitivity if you like it faster you can make it faster if you like it slower you can make it slower and uh, we've made a lot of performance improvements and a few just general improvements here and there but that is the main things that we've done for this update um let me know if i've missed anything out but i think that's covered all the main thing there's still a lot of things which i haven't talked about but you can just go inside the game and just yeah explore for yourself and just find all these new items that we've added um, another thing i want to also mention is that we will soon be um, announcing our next game uh, we will be opening up our beta program so you'll be able to apply for the um, early beta and be able to play and test the early beta this this program will be very limited so it'll be on a first come first basis and you soon uh, well i'll soon be probably creating a video announcing the website where you and more information going into more detail about it and i can just show you so this is one of the our promotional cards for it uh, that's pretty much all i can show you right now but you'll receive this card if you're a beta tester you will receive one of these these are um exclusive only for the beta testers um you'll receive that card along with a few other things like t-shirts and also a in-game badge which will only be issued out for the early beta testers um that's all i can say for the game right now we will be releasing some sneak peeks sometime next week hopefully and i think yeah i think that's all there is yeah okay that's it